It's the ability to revise, remix, adapt, customize, contextualize the course resources. So we no longer have to have a situation where uh, we say, oh, you don't have to read chapter five, take it out. If there's a section that's, that's weak, you can change it, you can update it. If there's a recent breaking development within your field, you can incorporate it. You can embed and scaffold your course assignments in the middle of the readings themselves. You can have your students as content creators and have a, as a course assignment, the contextualization and the production of local statistics and local examples and relatables. This is, opens up a new layer of academic freedom, really, when you, when you start to think about how many of us as instructors typically bend our courses to map onto the structure of a textbook when we should be, in fact, customizing the resources to map onto our pedagogical goals. So these are the exciting resources. Do you think that for me, I don't real, I have not really responded so well to the OER as the gateway drug that helps faculty understand how wonderful they can be and then you can sort of slip the other stuff in afterwards. For me, working with faculty, it's been much more fruitful to lead with academic freedom, to lead with student success and, and um, sort of throughput rates that emerge because of um, sort of social justice issues related to access to higher ed and also because learning materials are now customizable and integrated with non-disposable approaches to creation. But we want to transform an entire system. And to transform an entire system means we have to pay attention to the rules of that broader system. And I, I think that means we have to care about the permissions piece of it. I want to start with the fact that this is shared participatory and using the web in a way that um, I, I think changes the nature of, of education. It's about um helping and supporting learners in developing the skills, literacies, networks, identities, confidence, wisdom to participate fully, as fully as they wish, in networked participatory culture or culture that is increasingly networked and participatory.